After one month, I present you my 1K Q&A special. That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love Hey Marshmallows, it's Melody. Welcome to this video. We finally did it guys, we reached 1,000 subscribers! I never expected to come this far, I've never even expected to reach 100 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for the support, I really appreciate it. So to celebrate this milestone, I will be doing a Q&A. A few days ago, I asked you guys over on my Instagram and on my community tab to drop some questions you guys would like me to answer. So I'll be answering from both my community tab and on my Instagram. So from Instagram first, the first question is how old are you? I am 15. At the time of recording this video, I turn 16 in 8 days. My birthday is on January the 28th. With what app do you do your commissions? For intros, I use Pixlr and CapCut. For banner commissions or banners, I use Pixlr. And then for watermarks, I also use Pixlr. What advice can you say to anyone starting a GFX YouTube channel? My advice would probably be to post consistently, at least when you first start, so that you gain like viewers. I can't keep up with the schedule, so I just ended up posting whenever. <laughs> I actually did try to keep up with the schedule like before, but then YouTube wasn't as fun if I actually tried keeping up with the schedule because I lose motivation like a lot. And forcing myself to edit and make videos when I'm when I'm not feeling like it is just not fun. Another important tip is to have fun. If you don't like what you're doing, you may end up quitting in the future. Make content that you would enjoy actually making. So if you like Adopt Me, then consider making Adopt Me videos. Also, take breaks whenever you want or need to. You're not obligated to upload if you don't want to. If you guys want a more detailed tips and tricks video on how to grow on YouTube, I could make a separate video for this. But for now, I'll just answer the next question. Least and most favorite GFX you've ever made? There have been quite a few GFXs that I've made and didn't like, but my least favorite one is probably this one. OG followers on my Instagram would probably remember this. I'm not sure what I was thinking with the pipes and the rings because it does not go well with, with the GFX at all. My most favorite GFX is probably this one. I made this for an art contest, but I ended up loving like everything about it. I love the poses and how I edit it, just the whole thing in general. How does it feel to have such a unique and pretty editing style? Thank you. Well, it feels pretty nice. That's basically all I have to say <laughs> for this question. That's all the Instagram questions I have. Now I'll be answering the questions from my community tab. How long have you been doing GFX? I made my first GFX and posted it in, I think, 2021? Yeah, I think 2021. It was during quarantine when I was like bored and I came across one of Matsy's video on how to make a GFX or something or just like one of her videos and then I clicked on her channel and saw a bunch of videos by her so I just was interested I guess and I followed her GFX tutorial, but I found Blender to be complicated, so I made GFXs with Roblox Studio first. These GFXs on screen are actually made from in Roblox Studio, like I just like screenshotted and then edited it. Then I came across other GFX YouTubers as well, like CloudX Rose. And then I guess I got inspired and decided to start my own channel as well. Next question asked by the same person, what is the best GFX you've made? This question technically has already been answered, so I'll just go to the next question. Who are your favorite GFX artists? There are a lot of GFX artists in the community, and a lot of them are like talented. Some of my favorites are Matsy, Woven Claws, Aurora YT, Cozy Lemon Squish, and Val Hartsu. But like I said before, everyone is talented. There's like so many. Second question asked by the same person, what's your favorite video you've made so far? Honestly, I'm not too sure about this one. Probably the MM2 All Victories montage I did about a year ago. I don't do much gaming on my channel in general, but that video was pretty fun to film because at that time, my favorite game was MM2. 
even though I don't play Roblox that much anymore these days. Another question asked also by the same person, what's your favorite thing about being a GFX artist? Probably commissions because I get to try all these different themes and styles that I don't usually do for my own. And finding aesthetic photos for like the backgrounds is super fun. What's the thing you hate about being a GFX artist? Losing motivation. Doing commissions and making videos is all about my motivation. If I don't have motivation, I can't get things done and it could take forever to get that one task done. Are you going to do any game nights or any live streams or events? Game nights or events? Maybe? Possibly? I don't really know to be honest. But if I do do events or game nights, I would host them over on my Discord server. But currently, I don't really have much time to host game nights or events. Live streams though, on the other hand, I don't think I'm ever going to do live streams. How did you find out about Roblox GFX? That question has technically already been answered. How did you find out about Roblox? My friend at the time introduced Roblox to me, which was back in I think 2017. How long have you played Roblox for? Like I said before, my friend introduced it to me in 2017. Right now it's 2023, so probably around six years now, if I did the math correctly. How much Roblox have you earned from commissions? I just checked my group summary and I've earned over 10k Roblox from commissions. Will you post more vlogs i mean if i do travel then probably yes but i don't travel much so there's not much to see what is your favorite book series i have a lot of favorite book series but it would be the these violent delights duology by chloe gong there's also a spin-off series set in the same universe which i already read and i'm waiting on the second book that's coming out in i believe september just a little context on the original duology if you guys are interested in reading it's a romeo and juliet retelling set in the 1920s shanghai that is all the questions i'll be answering this time around i will probably do another q a when i hit another milestone that will be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't uploaded in a month and I haven't been consistent in my uploads. Like this video alone has been filmed and edited in the span of three weeks because I easily lose motivation and I just edit in small parts and keep stopping in between. Okay, anyways, that would be all. Thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see y'all in about a month in my next video. Bye.